uh, fashion. But always, my advice is always make sure you wear what suits you. And uh, what about the heels? What kind of heels? Because sometimes you see people wearing low heels with very long attires also. What kind of heels suits African attires especially? African attires, really, high heels are very good in it because you look you look comfortable when you wear high, high heels. But nowadays, not everybody wants to, you know, health-wise, it's not as advisable to some. But when you're talking about fashion, at least when you wear something nice and you know that it's really nice, you will, you will need to have at least a little bit of high heels, not like slippers. Flat slippers would not really bring up what you would want to see yourself, you know. You will prefer to wear a little bit high, not too high, but a at least a little bit high, at least you'll be comfortable. As a fashion designer, uh, what advice do you have to give to people in sense of dressing? Everybody should look nice every day. Every day you should try and make sure that you look neat and nice, not necessarily that we are something expensive. Materials here in the Gambia, we have very cheap materials. It depends on how and where you're going to wear it. But what is important is always look neat. Even this simple material, this wax, they're costing 150, 200, 250. They are all cheap, but if you wear them, you know, if you sew them nicely, it's 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 good. What is important is just dress neat and make sure that you know you have your matching collars or matching bags, and make it simple. It's not very good to be flashy all the time, but although sometimes you want to dress, you know, dress very well, but during the day really, wear something different. At least some simple nice, neat, you know, always looking neat. It's always good to, to, be, uh, to be neat. And what's your last word? Well, advise everybody to be looking good, looking neat, and then make sure that at least, let me give you, there's one tip I want to give. You know, sometimes you have your grand booba that you wear all the time. Sometimes we don't wear it always. But in the event that you have one material, uh, gown that you wear all the time, you can always change it to gown, long gown, instead of grand booba, because you cannot wear grand booba all the time. But you can change it as, you know, as a fashion designer, I always change my grand booba to long dress. We call it rubber, long dress, that you can embroider it at least, and then, you know, change the grand booba to long dress, that you can always wear again for a long time before. You can always change your old clothes even. You can wear some, for example, the, these ones, you can wear them. If you are tired with it, you can change it and make it another You know, you won't waste your material like, I wear this for two, three times, I'm not going to wear it again. No, 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 no. You can change it and then uh, design it and then sew it another thing and it will look different. So these are all tips that one could at least manage with your wardrobe or so. Well, that's all we had time for in this edition of the Women magazine. Hope you had a nice time. If so, do join us next week when we'll bring you another edition. Till then, it's bye from me.